Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today I'm taking old vintage envelopes that I picked up, and you can even find old vintage images of envelopes online, and we're gonna turn them into a new festive holiday envelope or fun little pockets that you can use for the holidays. Let's get started. So I'm starting with this pile of envelopes I had acquired. It looks like most of them are from the 40s and 50s from all different places. And I thought this would be really fun to make into some fun mail art. So what I've done is I, I've tried to take some of them apart and they're not gonna wanna come apart well. So if you have some fun old envelopes, instead of using the original, you could actually just scan them in and print them off and then you're not actually using your original unless that's what you really want to do. But then you can use it over and over. And even if you do use the original, it's kind of nice to have the scanned images so that if you ever wanted to go back to it, you've got them. So I actually scanned this one in and then I laid it on a sheet of paper to make my envelope template for this. So I knew it would work and I could close it up and make it into an envelope or a pocket. I have gone into a program and taken the address off. And I'm also gonna show you if you have addresses and things on there, if you don't wanna go into the computer and take each pixel out, how we're going to cover these. So if you have your own envelopes, I'm gonna show you how to use them. And if you don't, I'm gonna provide um, six different envelopes, four different full envelopes that you can use. Also, this sheet right here. So these will be the ones that I will have that you can download. So whether you're using the free downloads that I'm putting in there or you're using your own envelope, you're gonna cut them all out. This is what it looks like and then I've just cut it out. So this one right here doesn't have the full template, it's just fronts. So I'm gonna cut this one out and I'm gonna show you how I covered an address that I didn't take the pixels out on the computer. I just have these fun square and circle stamps. Really, you could just take a template and draw a square. I am going to just mask this edge off and I'm gonna lay my stamp on top the address. I'm using white chalk ink. I found that it doesn't really cover completely, but now at least I kind of have a guide. And you could just do this a couple times and probably get more of it covered and go over it. But I found that it took quite a few times. I'm just using that to give me a guideline. You could just draw a square or use a rectangular template. And now I'm gonna use some off-white paint and you could use any paint at all. And this off-white seemed to blend in very nicely. And this color is actually crinoline and it's from my DIY paint line. And by the time we're done, you don't really even notice that there are rectangles that are painted in white. So we're gonna let this dry. So this paint is dry now. So I'm just gonna take one of my stamps and this is from my Miriam Bright uh, from last year, the IOD Christmas stamp. So I'm just gonna stamp this over that white square that I, or rectangle that I painted. And then even now that kind of covers part of that. So this is one of the templates for you to download. I'm going to put this Christmas tree on here. So I'm just gonna be using my green IOD ink for this. I'm gonna add some fun lines to this. This is a uh, stencil. You could draw them in in pencil, in pen, in marker for an address. Or if you're not using it to really mail, you could just write something really fun in here. I'm gonna add a gold star to this. So I'm using my turmeric, which is a goldish yellow mustard with my star stamp. I'm gonna put this one aside. We're going to use the vintage textures on all these, but I think I'll do that all at once. So let's get to another one. I'm gonna use this cute deer head, and this is also from my Mary and Bright. I thought this would match nicely with all the brown stamps on there. I think we might draw a few lines on this one too. 
And here is a nice large one. It already has a nice window here. So this is a couple cherubs holding its frame. You could actually put an address or a saying either here or in this hole right here. So I'm gonna use my Merry Christmas, and this is also from the same stamp set. I will just put this in the center of here. And then you could put someone's address right there, and that would be really, really cute. I'm gonna use my vintage texture stamp, and it comes with four different vintage textures, and this is one of them. And this is one that I really like to use a lot. And I'm just using a brown ink for this. I want it to be kind of subtle, but enough that you see it, but not as stark as black. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere on here. I'm gonna do all of these. Hopefully this gives you an idea, even if you were doing them for Thanksgiving or for fall or for any occasion, just whatever you have decorated up in that theme. And this was the one that we did, we just used the front, where you could attach this to anything you would like. Now let's get our Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and then we're going to seal these and we are done. Just fold up this envelope and use my distressing ink, my Distress Oxide, and this is Vintage Photo color. Kind of just going over the edges and just a little bit on here and then when I seal these, the color will will move. I'm putting a sealer over this and it's gonna move a little bit of the distressing. And you really don't have to seal these or you could use wax, you could use any type of a sealer you would like. I'm gonna put this aside to dry and do this to all of these. I'm gonna let all these dry. We're gonna put them together. So I just wanted to show you what we just transformed and how it went from that to this. Hopefully you can see a difference, but depending on what you stamp, what you, how you color it, how you age it, you can make this template into almost anything you would like. A really cute tree, and this will be cute because it'll be folded over at the bottom. And this one right here. So the last thing I'm gonna do is fold up, folding up these ends, and I'm going to, I'm just gonna use a glue stick, but you could use a heavy double stick tape. Maybe even do a wax seal on the back. That would be really, really cute. Putting glue just on this one edge, and also on this side, on this one edge. And I got these to fit on eight and a half by 11 sheets, so you'd be able to easily print them out. Now, if you're just using them for decoration, you could also add fibers, other metal elements, charms, anything you would like to think of. But this is just a fun idea, using some old envelopes and transforming them into something new. So I hope you learned a few little fun tips and tricks while we did this. If you don't have any old envelopes or can't find any images, at the bottom of the video, click see more and we will have a link to the free download for the ones that I have done that you can print off and decorate yourself. So you don't even need to use these for the holidays. You can use them for any occasion or anything that you would like. I hope you give us a try, but whatever you do, have fun.